Netflix. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today's video is going to be the e.l.f. One Brand Challenge Take Two. This is the second video I've done using all e.l.f. products. I'm actually a huge fan of e.l.f. A lot of these products I bought because I wanted to have them, not necessarily because I wanted to film a video. They always have like 50% off sales, free products, free shipping. So whenever that happens, I am all over the e.l.f. website. I did order more brushes than usual because I know that I wanted to stick to only e.l.f. products in this challenge and I feel like last time I didn't have enough options when it came to brushes so I definitely made sure to have plenty of those. And yeah I mean I actually really like the way that this looks so if you'd like to see how I got this face, this beat, this situation then just keep on watching. I went ahead and did my brows off camera just to speed things off. I'm not a huge fan. They seem kind of like grayish and I just don't love the color but I use the e.l.f. lock on liner and brow cream and this is in the color espresso. I also try to use their pencils. One is in the color deep brown and one is in the color neutral brown and neither of them really worked for me. These are the brows we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get started. I'm going in with the e.l.f. illuminating primer. This is in the color radiant glow so I'm hopeful that this is gonna give me like a uh, you know, a glow, a glow from within. It definitely has a very golden hue. And it feels incredibly soft on the skin. So next I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. All Free Flawless Finish Foundation. This is in the color Ebony. It looks very dark and cool tone, a little bit darker than my complexion, but I'm hoping to balance it out with the golden sort of primer that I put on first. And honestly, the color down from this didn't work for me either, so but we're gonna make it work. So I put a couple of squirts there, and then I'm just gonna go in with my e.l.f. powder brush to blend that out. This is one of my favorite brushes. I use it all the time in all of my tutorials, so. I just like to stipple the foundation. Actually, that's a pretty good match. It's not golden or anything like that, but I can work with it. The coverage is pretty good. It's definitely a very neutral undertone. I definitely wouldn't call it red. Not bad, not bad. If I could find my color, I think I would actually like this foundation. Although like you notice how I'm like kind of talking like my nose is stuffed up is because the smell is kind of intense as I'm putting it on. And it blended really easily. I think it's darker than me, but we can balance all that out with concealer and powders and whatnot. So that was kind of cute. That was kind of cute or whatever. Now we just need our concealer. So I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. concealer in medium. I'm going to use that to basically highlight and conceal and also clean up underneath my brows. To blend out the concealer, I'm going to go in with an e.l.f. small stipple brush. This is another really great soft brush that I really enjoy using. Well, that concealer brings out really nicely. And I don't know, is it the, is the foundation settling a little bit more? Because I'm feeling some of my warmth come back in. I'm just kind of going over my eyelids since I'm going to prime them anyway. To contour my face, I don't have a contour shade that is deep enough for me. The brow product would work because it's pretty dark. This is their brow gel that I use for my eyes. Let me see what it does. This is an e.l.f. blending eye brush. Well, it's kind of showing up. Okay, we're getting a little bit of contour. I think I'll go with this actually. A little bit of contour around the perimeter of our face. So I'm going to go on with another e.l.f. small stippling brush and I'm going to blend this contour into my skin. How's that looking? That looks pretty good. To clean up the contour, I'm going to go on with that same e.l.f. concealer underneath my contour just to make it sharper and more precise. I'm actually really happy with this concealer. I don't love the undertones, but I think it's blending out really nicely and it's given me fairly good coverage. All right, so to set the highlighted parts of my face, I'm going to go on with the e.l.f. HD Corrective Yellow Powder. And I think that I have a powder brush here. This powder is so fine. I mean, it does the job, but I actually don't like my powders to be too fine. This is like powdered sugar. I like more of like a flower consistency. But ooh, check out this brush. This is their, uh, what is it? Pointed powder brush and it's so soft. So soft and it's definitely pointed. I'm actually really excited to use this. I'm just gonna dip into the powder dust off the excess and I'm just lightly setting for now. I don't really like baking with this powder. I'm gonna go ahead and set my lids. That way it's already primed and ready to go once I get to the eye portion. 
And then I'll still take that powder brush and just dust off the excess. Ooh. Okay brush, you're part of the rotation. So now I'm gonna go in with this Sheer Tint Finishing Powder in Deep. This is a product that I've actually played with before, so this is a second purchase, but I've never used it on camera. But you guys are about to see why this is gonna have me shook. Okay, so I'm gonna go on with this e.l.f. bronzing brush. And I'm gonna use it to set the contoured areas of my face. Look at this powder. It's dark and it's warm. So we're gonna get some warmth back into our face. But right now I'm just using it to set the contour areas of my face. This is step one, but it is giving me some beautiful warmth. Okay, and now I wanna use one of these. It's the Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. They have one in dark and deep, and they have one in medium dark. And I kinda want something to buff my entire face with. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm still trying to do like my regular routine just with e.l.f. products. We'll go in with a dark one. And I'm just gonna take another e.l.f. Uh, powder brush for this step. I'm gonna swirl it in here so there's some product on there. Push it into the skin and then buff everything together. I'm getting pretty good coverage, pretty good color. Oh, okay, okay, yes, we're getting something. Okay, powder, okay. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder in Dark and Deep. I can get into that. Let's stop here with the face. Let's move on to the eyes. Um, I already primed my eyes with some of that uh, concealer. I don't really want to do too much priming. I added a little bit of black to the brows. I was like, if I can't get the color that I want, let me just go black because this grayish situation, I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm gonna use this crease brush to deposit my transition color. Let's start with, I think I'm going to try going in with this color here from the Matte for Matte eyeshadow palette. This is the Summer Breeze one. Let's try that again. Let me push the product into the skin and then very lightly buff it. Am I wasting my time? All right, so I'm not sure if it did anything. If it did anything, it was very subtle, which I'm just gonna go in with the deeper color. So I'm gonna go in with the blending eye brush now, and I'm gonna pick up the deeper color next to that one we just used, this one right here. And I'm gonna place that in my crease. I'm literally just stamping it into my crease, and then I'm gonna buff it. It kind of goes a little dark when you blend it, but that's okay, as long as it shows up. And I kept the um, crease brush handy because I'm gonna use it to blend out the edges. That's really pretty. So I think the next color I wanna go in with is this berry color. I'm gonna grab um, an e.l.f. blending eye brush like we've been using so far. I'm gonna put that on the outer third of my eye and a little bit in the crease. Ooh, we're getting some smokiness, me liking. I'm gonna carve out my lid with that same concealer and the e.l.f. concealer brush first. Laying a base of concealer down first is gonna give you that really sharp, precise look, and it's gonna make whatever you put over top look a lot more pigmented. Okay, this is a blush. This is Twinkle Pink. I'm gonna try that as my lid color. I'm gonna go on with that e.l.f. blending eye brush, and I'm gonna pick up that purple color. I'm just gonna blend into the lid a little bit and around the perimeter of that crease, just to clean things up a little bit. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this color right here too that we use in our crease for some added warmth. I'm just working that into the other third and the crease. Oh, that is, that's nice. That's real nice. Ooh, okay, okay. Let me do this other eye real quick. So for the lower lash line, let's go in with our e.l.f. crease brush and let's grab this color right here and just place that on our lower lash line, especially in this corner right here, and then drag it into the inner corner. I keep forgetting I have a mirror here. All right, I'm gonna go on with an eyeliner brush and I'm gonna pick up that purple and I'm gonna place that a little closer to my lashes, especially in the outer third just to really deepen it some. I do need to highlight my inner eye corner though. I'm gonna use that champagne white color from that clay eyeshadow palette because I just think that would be the best. This is an eye crease brush. I'm gonna pop that in my inner eye corner. So I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Intense Ink Eyeliner. I've been wanting to use this for a while. So this is what the tip of that looks like. That's kind of why I'm really excited about it. 
Ooh, okay, that is gliding on real smooth. I'm gonna go in with the Elf Volumizing Mascara in the color Jet Black. I think one of you guys actually recommended I try this mascara and I actually really like it. This is a bomb mascara, like let me tell you, this mascara is really nice. Ooh, do y'all see that? You guys are gonna be seeing a lot of this mascara. You guys, this mascara, look at my bottom lashes. It was so easy to use. I am here for this. I'm totally here for this. So next up we have lashes. I'm gonna be using the Winged and Bold Luxe Lash Kit. This is what it looks like. I think it's gonna look really nice. Um, we all know that the Elf Flu is just, it's not popping. It's not popping and I'm just not gonna do that to myself. So I'm just gonna go in with my regular eyelash glue. Okay guys? This is going really good, you guys. I am feeling this beat. All right, you guys, so the lashes are on and I actually really like them. So now I'm just gonna move on to the rest of my face while they dry. I'm gonna start by going back in with that e.l.f. Uh, finishing powder in deep. I'm gonna use this as my bronzer now. And I'm gonna take that on an e.l.f. <laughs> bronzing brush. Bring some warmth, some dimension back into the face. So pretty. I like to take my bronzer on my cheeks a little bit too. So I am here for this. It's just really warm and beautiful and it's blending really nicely into everything else. Mm. Okay. Well, alrighty then. I guess I'll try to do a little bit of contouring. I don't really feel like doing a nose contour today. Not today. For blush, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Blush Palette in Dark. I have used this before several times. I absolutely love it. This is a new one. I'm gonna go in with the one at the bottom right of the pan. Can I just say I love how a lot of e.l.f. products come with mirrors. This is where things went left last time, so let's just go kind of slow. Not do too much. Okay, okay. For highlight, I'm actually gonna go in with two. I'm gonna go in with Sunkissed and Warm Tan. This is their Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. So I'm gonna mix the two of them and I'm gonna take that on an e.l.f. highlighting brush. This is my new highlighting brush um, in general. I really like it. Let's go in with Warm Tan first on the high points of our cheekbones. This is a really pretty highlight. And I'm sweeping some along my brow bone just to tie everything nicely together. All right, now I'm gonna go in with some of the Sunkissed one. This is more of a golden undertone. That first one was more of a uh, coppery undertone. And I'm keeping this second highlighter a little bit more centralized. I'm just going to use my finger to highlight down the bridge of my nose. So moving on to the lips, I don't have any kind of lip liner from e.l.f. so I'm just gonna use their brow pencil in deep brown and then i'm going to go in with this i already took it out the box liquid matte liquid matte lipstick and this is in the color marvelous that's what it looks like i don't want a ton of it it's pretty though i'm going to take one of their lip brushes this is the elf lip defining brush and just blend into the lip liner so it's a little bit more seamless so pretty. You could stop here. This is a lip, this is beautiful, this is gorgeous, but I'm not gonna stop here because I've been dying to use this lip gloss. This is the Alyssa Ashley collaboration. I got it when it first came out and it's in the color Nude Rose. Shout out to Alyssa Ashley. She just hit a million subscribers. So I love that. So packaging is gorgeous, right? Anyway, so I'm gonna place this over top of all of this. might have did something with this gloss and it's pigmented all right guys this is pretty much the look i'm just going to finish everything off by setting my face with my elf makeup mist and set spray it's got aloe green tea cucumber vitamins a c and e all right guys i'm going to fix my hair up and i will be right back all right guys, this is the finished look. I have to say, I really like the way that this turned out. There were a lot of standout items um, that I really enjoyed. I think I'm gonna do a separate video on some of my favorite e.l.f. products because I actually am a huge 
fan. I know it might not have come across that way in my last video. So yeah, overall I think this look turned out pretty good. I like the eyes, I like the lips, I like the highlights. The complexion products weren't perfect but they were definitely workable. Also this is a drugstore item so I don't expect too too much from them but the coverage was nice, the consistency was nice, the blendability was nice and overall I think it was just it was pretty good. So I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe if you were not already subscribed. Also hit that notification bell down below so you can get notified every time I upload. Thank you all so much for watching and until next time, have a marvelous day.